Hello, my name is King, and welcome to a Kerbal Space Program tutorial. First time doing these, and eh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, I am going to do it in my only save file. I'm not going to create a new save file for this, because most of these things can be done whenever, wherever. But, uh, it, that was a horrible intro, but in this video, I figured we'd do something a little bit tame, and you will learn how to make a rover in this. Not just any rover, though, because normally with a rover, you, like, build the body and then, like, add some wheels, but wheels are actually very unreliable in KSP. Regardless of the version, they just don't seem to know how to make wheels correctly. So, instead, we are going to be building a rover that has one giant wheel. Because that's interesting, and also not likely to fall apart or bounce around immediately. So, step one, you go into the space plane hangar. Rule of thumb, space plane hangar is usually good for space planes, obviously, but also rovers, while the VAB is good for rockets. Mainly because you can put the rover on the runway instead of the launch pad, which is usually more interesting, or not interesting, more useful than, say, you know, something else, like a small little square of room. That being said, let's get started on this design. So, usually with a rover you would want the Mark II lander can, put it in rover, and at this point rotate it uh, like that. And that would be the base for your rover. For this really weird design, we are also going to be doing this, just because it's an easy base to work with, and it should be nice and easy peasy, and yeah. So press C to toggle the snap option, make sure you have symmetry on, and we are going to be using these cubic octagonal struts. You might also want to have the center of mass on, so you can line these up in the center of the sides. That's only on one side. Press X to put it on both sides. And that's going to be like our axle rotation. The, the way this is going to work is we are going to be using uh, SAS modules as wheels and also just to spin the whole thing in its entirety. So, I prefer to grab the biggest ones possible, I, we have the most rotation possible. Hold ALT to snap to only the nodes. And I'm, I'm sorry if all the controls and buttons I'm telling you to press doesn't really work because you're on console or something. But, you know, it's... you can get the gist. You want to have octagonal strut in the symmetry mode, and then put wheels on both sides. Now then, I'm going to take everything by grabbing it from the strut, put it back into a normal mode, and just sorta, uh, there we go. Rotate it so it's upward facing, just place it on the top for now and then switching the mode to radial, and then shift X brings you to the max. It makes you go backwards. So just put it as to as many stuff going around in a circle as possible, and grab a battery. And just place it right there. This is just so we have a bunch of power that, that's pretty much it. In fact, in between these, 
Let's put some more octagonal struts. Holding shift to make sure it's in the center, which it's not. That's gonna annoy someone, mainly me. So I'm gonna turn off that so that it's actually in the center, which I'm gonna say is right about there. That's also probably way off, but it's good enough. Rocket science isn't really something you need to, like, make sure to do correctly or anything. Like, there's no specific science behind it, you just eyeball it. That's totally perfectly normal. Don't actually do that, that's bad advice. Usually, it is smart to actually have these things, like, planned out and stuff. Now then, just gotta rotate it correctly. And there we go. There's our wheels with batteries on them because uh, science or whatnot. So that's basically the design for the rover. As long as you have SAS turned on, they should be able to stay perfectly balanced and everything should be fine. And just make sure you don't spin it too fast or else everything will die. But, uh... Another smart thing would be to put some science on here. So you could put whatever, and hopefully because of the sheer amount of SAS we have on this, it doesn't matter if it's off-center or anything, or too heavy on one side, or whatever. But uh, let's test this out. And if it doesn't work, that's fine, just trial and error, tweak the design a little bit, and it should work out eventually. The whole idea of these designs is to just tweak it, improve upon it, make it your own. That's usually how you build anything, regardless of if the tutorial is step by step. That doesn't really mean to like follow each step, it just means to improve on the design or use the design as hints of where to go, what the right direction is. So now that we have it launched in here. As you see, because we are not using Squad's horrible, horrible wheels, it's not bouncing around or anything. It's just perfectly balanced, everything's perfectly fine. Now, turn on SAS, and it's still perfectly balanced. But now, we can do this. And as you can see, that was a horrible idea. But we just tap it. Just nice and gentle tapping. Go this way. You can go that way. See, it's perfectly fine. And then now we go this way. It's okay, we did not need those batteries or structure blocks at all. That was not necessarily necessary to the design at all. So, we just go like this. Maybe we're going to go a little bit faster. Now we are going way too fast and we're going to die. And now we are just a box, but that's fine. The box is also a wheel. So we just rotate it this way, making sure not to bounce too much. And now you see, this is why we needed the batteries because we are wasting a lot of energy doing this. But it's okay. We still have one science junior and one strut, which is our leverage on this craft. Now then, say this is right around where we want it to be. That, well, it's going to be where we want to be because there's literally nothing else. So we just turn off SAS and say go on an EVA and then hop off and we are here. A brilliant design, if I do say so myself. So. We can jump, we can go back over here, press F to climb, and press B to board, and then press recover vehicle, or vessel, to end the mission. And there you have it, that's how to make a rover. And yes, that did not work 
as well as, say, the wheels would, if the wheels actually function the way you they are supposed to. But, if you just tweak on the design a little bit, maybe don't spin as fast, and actually use a better support on the wheels, everything should go much better than this did. But, uh, yeah. So there was that very useless, but interesting tutorial. If you like the design, make it yourself. Yeah. And if you feel like the design obviously didn't work out the way it was supposed to, but you could take the this design, improve upon it, make it better, and call it your own. And that's usually how you learn how to make rovers and things. You just make a bad design and improve upon it over and over and over again. So, uh, yeah. I hope you like this tutorial. And... My name's King, as I already said at the beginning. And, uh, yeah. That, that's about it. Subscribe for more. Or something. Uh, that, that, that's it. I cut, cut, cut.